Could you explain more on the topic of letting go? I've noticed that many channels of LOA focus on this one. In my opinion, it's so weird and interesting that when I let go of something, it manifests. I love this topic. I love this topic too. Letting go of the things that I wanted was one of the hardest tasks for me to do. But when I learned how to let go of things that matter to me, to let go of the things that I desired, I became an entirely new person, which is nutty to think about because I still have a lot of improvements that I need to make to myself and for myself. But letting go of the things that you want and then watching them come to fruition is such a confusing yet fascinating concept. There is seemingly no middle ground between going with the flow and making it work and being a go-getter. Sometimes letting go or simply allowing things to be what they will be may feel lazy. It may feel as though you're doing absolutely nothing to attain your desires. I'm totally speaking purely from experience, by the way. Perhaps you can relate. But my objective for this video is to help you understand how letting go of your desires is not lazy, but rather one of the most proactive approaches you could take in order to attain them. When I speak of letting go of what we want, I technically could replace that word with the term allowing. This is how I manifest things. A desire is born. Perhaps it's a new car or a MacBook or more of a social life or a better self-image. The universe or my guardian angels, whomever I'm feeling particularly close to at the time, receives my desire and they can feel my desire. They can feel that it is good and they begin orchestrating its arrival in my physical realm. Because they're on it, I can't lose. Because I'm not in control of this and something higher than I am is in control of this, I can only win. I can only get what I want because it's good and because I'm working through forces higher than my own. Because I work through forces higher than my own, I don't have to exert any force of my own. This is my confidence. I've learned to understand my place in the grand scheme of everything. I am not in the universe. I'm part of it. And when the universe moves to make things happen in order to summon my desires to me, it will also move through me. It's going to move me to different places in time and to different places on this earth. It'll put me where I need to be in order to fulfill my desires. My guardian angels and or the universe and or source will guide me via my inspirations. And I will act on these inspirations. I will follow the lights, so to speak. I will take these inspired actions and they will lead me and my desire to one another. And that is called manifestation. That is allowing. That is my interpretation of letting go. So how do you let go? How do you allow? How do you attain this profound confidence. You trust the process. How do you trust? You become like a child. I want to read you an excerpt from our Messiah, Mr. Neville Goddard. I found this online recently. The eternal body of man is the imagination, and that is God himself, the divine body, Jesus Christ. And we fragmented as we are we are his members now what do i mean by this i mean it in a simple simple way let me now quote scripture they're all arguing as to who will be the greatest in the kingdom it happens all over the world 
who is better than the other one, just who is better. And these are the words. Unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 18 verse 3. Now let's think of that final statement. Unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I'll make this real simple. When you are a child and you wanted something, how often did you preoccupy yourself and your thoughts and your mind with how you were going to attain that desire? If you wanted something like a toy that would logically require money to attain, did you ever often worry about the affordability of the item? All you knew was that you wanted something and if you asked for it, you asked someone for it, say your parents or Santa, you trusted that your request was heard and that it would be honored. Trust is the key word. You just trusted that what you desired would be done. Now, as we get older, our innocence begins to wash away as we encounter disappointments and rejection. These are unfavorable experiences, and in our attempts to protect ourselves from such pain, we begin to lose trust. You need to find a way to restore that trust. Now, I personally cannot tell you how you can do that for yourself all i can do is tell you how i did that for myself and perhaps these tips may help you in your own journey for me it was basically a combination of these three things that allowed me to relearn how to trust and therefore allow my desires to be made physical I never stop learning. That's number one. I never stop learning and I never stop taking in content that I know will feed my mind in the way I need it to be fed. Like watching success stories, reading success stories, and learning from quantum physicists who focus on this topic, and learning from spiritual leaders and the like. Secondly, I regularly take time to just remind myself of why I'm worthy and deserving of receiving all of the things that I want. Because like all of us, sometimes I forget why I'm good. If you can't accept why the universe or God or source or whoever or whatever you choose to put your faith in would favor you or at the bare minimum care about you you are placing a huge block in your path by making your desires feel like wild fantasies that just could never be you just have to accept that you are worthy of good things happening for you and to you lastly and I've spoken about this in detail in a previous video. I don't solely put my faith in myself per se. I, as of recently, have chosen to believe in my guardian angels. Because they are my guardian angels, of course they favor me. And of course they have my best interests at heart. I believe that they can do more for me in the spiritual realm than I can. So this has been a quick video, one of my quickest yet, but I've tried my very best to share with you everything I wanted to say on this topic in a very condensed manner. I've hit upon all of the major key points. Of course, if there's anything you want me to elaborate on, I know you'll let me know. Of course, these opinions and this perspective is my own and you may or you may not agree with it. 
But for the last year or so, this has been my personal process and my personal mindset in terms of making positive changes in my life. And needless to say, I am now in a season of harvest, reaping everything that has been sown, clarifying your desires and then allowing them to unfold through you is, in my experience, one of the more efficient ways of manifesting anything in your life. It hasn't failed me yet, and I don't believe it will fail you. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. So, how did you like today's video and what video would you like to see next? You let me know in the comment section down below. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.